thought I should mention I'm putting you on the floor committee for the Christmas Bowl. Essentially, all it means is you'll be able to go on your own rather than someone's escort, and that you'll get a white carnation for your lapel. Well, thanks a lot, but actually, I'm not planning to go to any more dances. You weren't. Well, I strongly advise you to change your mind. Is it that your resources are limited? This is about the only economical social life you're going to find in New York. Music, drinks, entertainment, hot, nutritious meals, all at no expense to you. And basically, all you need is one suit of evening clothes and a tailcoat. Dances are either a white tie or black tie, so you only need two ties. You rented that from where? A.T. Harris. Oh, good. You know about Harris. They also sell them secondhand, very inexpensively. It's a good arrangement. Thanks a lot. My resources are limited, but actually, that's not it. I know. You're opposed to these parties on principle. Yes. Exactly what principle is that? Well, the principle that one shouldn't be out at night eating hors d'oeuvres when one could be home, worrying about the less fortunate. Pretty much, yes. Has it ever occurred to you that you are the less fortunate? I mean, there's something a tiny bit arrogant about people going around feeling sorry for other people they consider less fortunate. Are the more fortunate really so terrific? Do you want some much richer guy going around saying, poor Tom Townsend doesn't even have a winter jacket? Well, I can't go to any more parties. That's a bit cynical. This is not just a matter of what you'd personally prefer. I'll tell you this in confidence. You've made a big impression on these girls. Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. They like you and are now counting on you as an escort. Well, I like them too, but that doesn't... I'm not sure if you realize this. These girls are at a very vulnerable point in their lives. All of this is much more emotional and difficult for them than it is for us. They're on display. They have to call the guys up and invite them as escorts. And preppy girls mature socially much later than others do. For many of them, this is the first serious social life they've had. And if you just disappear now, well, they're going to take that as personal rejection. Give me a break. I'm not entirely joking. You should go. If Thorstein Devlin were here, he'd tell you the same thing. I'll meet you at 430 at Brooks, main floor, southwest corner, where the pajamas intersect with the expensive shirts right across from the undershorts counter. <laughs>